Yo, what's up guys, Anbhav here. As I said, I'm back again with a new video. In today's video, we're discussing a topic that we have never really discussed before. Today, we'll be talking about the best task manager applications on your Android. Now, we know there are a lot of applications that let you create task lists and whatnot. Of course, I've mentioned a lot of them over the years, but in today's video, I'm talking about the best of the best. These apps, if you install them, if you ever use them, you probably will never switch them to any other application. So with that said, I've got four really, really good applications for you guys so let's not waste any time be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and without any further ado let's get started all right guys so the first app that i want to talk to you guys about is known as rock and rock is basically a one-stop shop for tasks plus messaging so it's a productivity software that you can use either for your personal productivity or for your team and basically this is one application where not only can you create task lists as well as different reminders and notes but you can also add your team members or your teammates or let's say your friends if you're working on something together and talk to them and share files and talk about all the collaboration and do everything in one place. It's an all-in-one messaging app that is used by thousands of teams in over 172 countries across the world. And it's also available on your desktop, which means not only can you use the mobile application of Rock on your Android or on your iPhone, but there's also a desktop app that you can use on your PC or on your Mac and everything gets updated as and when you use them, no matter whether you're using it on the phone or you're using it on the computer. It's really, really great. All right, so this is Rock when you open it up for the first time. This is how it looks. I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the application so you can get to know how to use this application and basically, you know, get the best out of it. So over here, what you have are known as the Rock Spaces. So these are basically spaces that you can create. You can either create a one-by-one -one space, basically you and just another person, or a group space to create everybody working. What you can also do is create your own space to add tasks and notes for your personal needs. So you can add grocery lists. As you can see, I've added a task here and it is very easy. Once you've added it, in order to complete it, you have to go over to the task, click on it and then hit on done and it'll be completed. But what I'm here to show you guys is, you know, how it works when you're collaborating with people or your friends or your teammates. So this is a workspace that I've been collaborating with a few people over here. And as you can see on the top, there are four different mini applications that you can toggle through. The first one is called tasks and this is pretty self-explanatory, you can create a new task by clicking on the plus button here. And these are all the tasks that have been created by the other teammates. Over here, you can filter these tasks through, you know, different people who are added. You can assign these tasks to different people so everybody knows what they're doing. You can also add a due date to each task and, you know, basically do everything at the same place. Once you're out of the task, the next topic or app that I want to talk about are topics. Now over here, you can add different topics. As you can see, this is called strategy third quarter 2022. So over here you can add different topics different teams and it works seamlessly that way then you've also got something called notes and this is pretty cool because notes are basically a place wherein you can add different sorts of you know pointers and communicate on them by using commenting and replying on notes so i can easily create a new note or i can click on a note look at you know what the note is and then talk to my teammates right here it is really insane then the next mini app that we have is called files and this is basically a a linking cloud service page where you can link folders to this space so everyone can quickly access files. Basically, you can upload stuff from Google Drive, Figma, Adobe, Smartsheet, OneDrive, or Dropbox. They've got everything. And there's also the rock file section wherein you can save different attachments and all the files shared and saved in this space will appear in this list. So now I haven't added anything here. That's why it's showing nothing in the rock file section. But as soon as I do, it will update that for me as well. So let's say you hit on Google Drive, you can click on Google Drive and then of course it's gonna ask you to log in. I'm gonna skip through that but you get the idea once you log in and provide rock access you can go ahead and upload any file you want and it's gonna work very seamlessly that way. Another cool thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the different views. So if you go to the tasks over here you'll see an option called change view. Now this is a normal list view. If you don't want to view it this way just hit on change view and you can open up a calendar view. Over here you can see this basically filters the views on the dates that it has to be completed and there's there's another view and this is called the board view. This is also really cool. It shows you different boards of, you know, all the tasks that you are doing. So there's blocked, there's
there's doing, there's to do, etc, etc. Of course, as I said, you can create your own space here, add your teammates, basically, you know, remove all these other applications where add tasks somewhere else, talk somewhere else, share files somewhere else, do it all in the same place using Rock. And of course, you've got the same, you know, different types of views over here as well. You can see all the tasks that are assigned to you, all the notes that are created by you and all the activity that is going on in the space that you have created. It is absolutely crazy and I would highly recommend everybody to go ahead and start using Rock if you need a task list application. Also, another thing that I want to highlight, which is the cherry on top of the cake, is that Rock is absolutely free and unlimited. You can add unlimited spaces, unlimited tasks, files, notes, etc., what have you. They also have a pro version and a team version for more advanced functionality. And guess what? Because they've sponsored this video and because they really like our viewers, we also have a special one month free pro plan for anybody who wants to try Rock out. So all you have to do is click the link in the description below and be sure to use the promo code Anupav Roy and you'll get one month month of Rock Pro for absolutely free along with all of the free unlimited features that you get whenever you download Rock either way. Definitely check it out. This is really a game changing application and I think everyone should try it out at least once. All right, guys. So the next application goes by the name of Stuff Widget. And this is basically a widget application that I used to add whenever I used to, you know, have tasks that I need to that I needed to get done daily. Now, as I've said, if you watch my recent videos, I have replaced this application for another app that is also in this list we'll talk about after this one is done. But the main reason why I still wanted to talk about this application is because number one, this is a very small app. It's mostly a widget. It's not even an app. So if you want a task list or a task manager, which just has the basic functionality, lets you add different tasks, as you can see, and don't want it to take a lot of space on your phone, whether it is because your phone is slow or because you don't want to install heavy applications, this is the perfect way to have the basic sorted out. So basically, over here, as you can see, you can open up this application and you can add different titles. As you can see, there's the back to work routine things to get done and put it anywhere on your home screen as a widget. Whenever you click on it, you can add a task. And once you've added the task, clicking on the leftmost will complete that task. And if you click on it again, you can, you know, make it incomplete if you were just testing it out like I was. Basically, I used to use this for writing down small things like, hey, I have to get groceries. Uh, I need to buy medicines for my dog or I need to take my dog to the vet, take him for a walk. Basically, all the things that I had to do over the time, over the day, I used, you know, Stuff Widget for this. It's a still a really great application. There are no ads, no hiccups, nothing at all. It's just a widget, super lightweight, does what it says. If you need an app like this, I don't think really there is any other application that could replace this one. So be sure to check it out. All right, guys, at number three, we've got a note taking application more than a task list application. And this is called Note Snook. Now, this is an application that I had featured in a previous Android app video, but I wanted to do a deep dive on this because there really is a lot to this application that I hadn't explored before. On opening it up, the first thing that you will see is the notes page over here. You have the hamburger menu where you can cycle through your notebooks, your tags, your monographs or trash. Now, notebooks are basically sections that you can add a lot of different, uh, you know, information in. You can add a title, describe your notebook, as well as add a topic over here, as you can see. Other than that, if you have to take down notes for your class or, you know, notes for your college, I think this is the best way to do that. Number one, the UI is super clean, so you can add a tag and filter, you know, different notes using that single tag. So let's add a tag and you can add it something like English or chemistry, filter it by subject and whatnot. You can add a title, you can start writing your note here. There are also a plethora of different options below, which are basically options to customize what you're writing. So you've got the typical, you know, bold italics and underline. You've also got uh, the font selection, the paragraph selection, different lists, etc., color, etc. You can do a lot with this. You can also add attachments. And for this, you will need the Notesnook Pro. So the Notesnook Pro, you can attach files up to 500 MB. You can instantly sync to unlimited devices, etc., etc. But I would recommend you to try out the free version first, see if you're getting a use out of this application. And if you are, and if you think the pro one is a good thing to do, then go for it. Because the free one also has a lot of features that, you know, we can use. And I don't really think you need the pro one, but then again, every use case is different. Notes are basically sections for writing notes. Notebooks, as I said, are more in depth. You can have favorites and you can have tags to filter. And there are also monographs. Monographs are basically, uh, you know, notes that you can write. And basically these 
these will be separate compared to the different notes. You can learn more about them if you want. And honestly, I feel like this is a great application if you want to write a lot of information on your phone. This is the app to do that with. Be sure to check it out. All right, guys, last but definitely not the least, we have got Todoist. Now, Todoist is the current task managing application that I use, you know, for my daily tasks and day-to-day -day stuff. And as you can see, this is what I replaced Stuff Widget with because I didn't really have memory problems and I wanted a little more functionality out of an application. So this is Todoist. Now, again, I do not use it in the app format a lot. I use it in the widget format because that's what my workflow has been with stuff, as you guys know. So on over here, let's do a little more deep dive. I've got two widgets. The first one here is the main widget over here. You know, you can add your daily tasks and whatnot. You can also add recurring tasks, something that I recently found out. And below that, you have got a different stats widget. So over here, it shows me how many tasks have I completed daily, my weekly task list, as well as my karma. Now the karma is a pretty cool thing because it basically is, a, you know, a trend and it gives you a sense of accomplishment. So as you complete tasks you get points and your levels increase so you start all the way from beginner then there's novice then there's intermediate professional and so on currently i'm at intermediate hoping to get to professional soon really keeps you pumped for completing tasks you know uh, keeps you motivated you've got 75 completed tasks you have an activity log you can view all the tasks that you have you can view your progress and you know how many tasks you've completed on different days throughout the week the app is really in-depth and what i really like about it is that you know you can add recurring tasks as well so whenever you click on a task you can either type in if you want it on tomorrow so let's say if i type tomorrow it automatically changes the due date to tomorrow you can remove that you can select it like this as well or using the calendar or if you want to let's say you know add a recurring task what you can do is write down your task and then just write down something like every day or every alternate day and it's just gonna you know make it a recurring task this is really cool because there are some tasks that i have to do regularly i'm sure you guys do on a weekly basis like exercising or you know shooting videos regularly throughout the week so you can create these things and just set them up and uh, you know if a task has to repeat every day it's gonna pop up first thing in the morning in this place and you can just tick it off once you're done with it so right now you can see there's the shoot video task manager so that's what I'm doing right now so I'm gonna you know just uncheck that because you know that work is done so it completes it over there and it also shows me that the daily task has been complete and my weekly task has also increased it's really a superb application I don't know why it took me so long to get used to this or to learn about this app i'm never gonna stop using this i don't think so i need to upgrade it so yeah if you want something like this something so easy to use something so helpful definitely be sure to check it out and well guys that is pretty much it for today's best task managing applications if you guys did like this video we are so close to 250k it would mean the world to me if you guys could hit the subscribe button press the bell icon because we need more and more notifications to reach our recurring subscriber viewers with that said be sure to drop a like comment below which was your favorite application if you're enjoying the regular videos i'm planning for two or three videos a week consistently instead of going you know five videos in a week and then two months gap i don't want to do that i'll do slower videos but consistent videos instead hope you guys will stick around for those with that said this is your boy anubhav signing out i'll catch you guys next time you guys have a great day stay safe peace out